Hello everybody. So I have a couple of new visitors and I figured I would make a video to try and keep them entertained rather than just leaving the channel blank for them to come over and just go, oh, nothing's here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to release a ship I never intended to release. This is a test ship that I built to practice a specific kind of AI and it's called Gungnir. What does it do? It kills shit pretty well. It's covered in many, many layers of heavy armor. How fast is it? Well, let's find out. Oh my gosh, it's so slow. So why did I name it after Odin's mythical spear that flies fast and never misses its mark and kills whatever it hits? Oh. Oh. Right. It's not slow at all. Yep, this is the very first instance of Sleepnir. So, Sleepnir, as you may know, is what allows us to uh, attach other engines to the engine that uh, to our primary engine so that we can activate them while we're driving around. Unfortunately, I was never really able to tame it. This beast is oh, well whatever. This beast is a little bit too aggressive. And the problem is that it is so much more powerful. These gravity drives are so much more powerful than the built-in engines that as soon as they trigger, they never stop triggering. So, Sleepnir cannot cannot be controlled in this case. The spear that flies fast, once you throw it, it stays thrown. And uh, that's why I never really talked about this ship. It was just too uncontrollable and didn't really, really work very well. But uh, it does work very well at the one thing it does, but it doesn't work very well on anything else. Moreover, half the time, in order to get it going, you actually need to back up and get to like five meters per second going backwards and then fire it forwards like a, like a, you know, a spring wound mouse or whatever. So uh, that's one of the reasons I was never going to release it. But the reason I decided to release it is that we got the new cryopods and I wanted to put them in a ship. And this was the only ship I had that actually had room for cryopods. And that would be in this airlock I built. Because I built this huge airlock and I was like, oh, this airlock turned out way too big. Well, it's the perfect size for 12 cryopods, which happens to be the roster. So this is a uh, fun chance for me to go ahead and put in the cryopods and uh, you know, release a ship that is reasonably well accommodating and has all sorts of plants and stuff and can kill anything you point it at. Like with most of my ships, the original intent was in fact to make a ship that had all of the AI running and did all the cool stuff, but most of the designs don't have that kind of longevity to them, and this is one of the ones that didn't. It's a curiosity rather than a ship that I expect anyone to actually use. But if you did want to play with a, a ship that just accelerates out of control and can kill anything you aim it at, this would be that ship. I'll send you a link to it. And, uh, you know, happy hunting, I guess. <laughs>